And now, uh, moving on, and this thing is called stoichiometry. Stoichiometry is the more challenging part in moles where they give you information about one thing and they ask you information about another thing. Okay, so stoichiometry is when they give you information about one substance with the equation and they ask you for another substance. Okay, so how do you solve these questions using mole conversion factors? Again, it's very, very straightforward. You just have to be very, you just have to have an open mind with regards to what you're solving. Okay, just to confirm, everybody's comfortable with mole conversion, right? You pick your favorite method, ratio, formula, or conversion factor. You work with that. Just pick one method, okay? You don't have to learn all three methods. Okay, so, yes, we come. I yeah. just want to say that we're comfortable. At least I'm okay. comfortable. Though. That's good. That's good. If anybody's not, please ask me. All right. Now, how do you work with stoichiometry? I'm going to give you a very simple problem of stoichiometry, and we're going to work through our way through it. Okay, here's the question. So this is a pretty straightforward problem. And how do you know it's a stoichiometry problem? They have given you information about ammonia, but they're asking you about hydrogen. They tell you about one thing, they ask you about the other. That is how we know this is stoichiometry, okay? So let's write the equation because we need the equation to find the answer. So the equation is this one. Usually the equation is given to you, but in case they are, it's not, then you have to write it. But usually it is given, okay? Always balance the equation, okay. So, Here's the thing. The first thing that you have is ammonia. And the second thing that you have is hydrogen. The reason I said first thing here, because this is the one that I know about. This is my first thing. And this is my second thing, because this is what I get the answer for. Okay. What about nitrogen? I'll ignore it. The way to ignore things in chemistry is you assume that they are in excess. What that means is that if something is in excess, you're not running out of it. It does not matter. Okay, you have plenty of it. You don't need to care about it. It's the other thing that you need to care about. And sometimes we call that thing limiting factor. Not all the time, but limiting factor is one way of knowing that that is the thing you should focus on. Ignore the thing that is in excess. Okay, so we're completely going to ignore this. We're only going to focus on this. Okay, so I'm going to start with the simple method of conversion factor. Now, how do you work with conversion factor? The idea is that you have four boxes and please pay attention because this is a method that I've not seen being taught anywhere except uh, the Southeast Asia. So many Hong Kong and uh, I've seen this method taught in Taiwan, in some Chinese schools in Hong Kong, but I've not seen it taught in India, Pakistan, South Asia or anywhere else. I mean, Gulf maybe. Okay, so here's how it's gonna be. It's gonna be. So the conversion factor method simply says, that you have four things here. And you're going to start about the first thing here. Then you have four things to write, after which you get to the last thing, which is your answer. Okay. So again, you have to be careful that you're starting here. This is your first thing. This is the second thing. Okay. So what do you know? You know 68 grams of ammonia. Step one, you find moles. So what's the conversion factor to find moles? Divide by MR. Okay, so that is divided by MR, which is 70. Now, the next thing is you multiply with the ratio. So this is your first thing. This is your second thing. So you write 3 over 2. You multiply by that. If you don't like that, you can also write divide by 2 over 3. Okay, same thing. You're basically starting here, ending here. So you multiply by 3 over 2 or you divide by 2 over 3. Same thing. And step 4. What do you want? You want volume. So you multiply by 24. Because the conversion factor simply says multiply by 24 to find volume. What am I doing here? Let's think about it. By dividing by 17, I'm finding moles of ammonia. By dividing by 2 by 3, I'm finding moles of hydrogen. And by multiplying 24, I'm finding volume of hydrogen. 
it's a four step process every single time technically it's a three step process because ye to aapko given hai but this is what you write and now simply put it in a calculator and there comes the answer 68 divided by 17 divided by bracket 2 over 3 multiply by 24 and my answer is 144 dm cube this is the answer there you go sir one doubt so yes. multiply by 3 by 2 right why do we divide by 2 in that fraction not getting that i mean you can do that i was just saying that if you want you can either write 3 over 2 i prefer the multiplication part why because i know jo mujhe answer chahiye na the one that i look the an i want the answer for that comes on the top okay yeah. but like generally yeah. conceptually also like why do we divide by 2 over here you can break it down into two steps let's try it like this what if i wanted to divide by 2 what will i get i will get the ratio of moles of ammonia to moles of hydrogen so when i divide by 2 and then multiply by 3 i'm basically getting that okay abhi main aapko ratio method dikhata hu you'll understand what's happening here okay yeah okay. just give me a couple of minutes you'll understand okay so the conversion factor method is you simply write four lines or three lines you start by one thing you use the conversion factor to convert to moles then multiply by the ratio and then multiply by whatever the conversion factor is okay now let's use the second method which is the ratio method and ratio method uh, many when i was a student i did not like moles so i just made it myself uh, but uh, later on as a teacher i saw this method first time in england and then i uh, once met the head examiner of cambridge and i showed him this method and he was like that yes this method is acceptable so you can use this method okay uh I, when i tried when i was teaching at lgs i showed it to some of my students and they took it to the uh, head of department there and she told them that uh, no 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 you can't use this method because you won't get marks but i checked with the examiner you can use this mark uh, method you will get marks okay so don't worry about it so how does ratio method work uh let's do the same problem the problem is what volume of hydrogen is required to produce 68 grams of ammonia so you pick this thing up you pick this thing up you just copy them okay pay attention you just identify what you're looking for and you just copy them so i'll just copy this i'll write 3h2 2nh3 and now what am i going to work with i have volume of hydrogen mass of ammonia volume of hydrogen mass of ammonia okay so in the first line you are going to write the standard values so for hydrogen one mole volume is 24 dm cube for mass two moles uh, one mole of ammonia is 17 grams what did i do i simply took the one mole value one mole value for hydrogen was 24 i just wrote that one mole value for ammonia was 17 grams i wrote that okay second step i was given what was the information 68 gram ammonia i just write that 68 gram ammonia gives me x cross multiply 3 times 24 times 68 is equal to 2 times 17 x so x is equal to 3 times 24 times 68 over 2 times 17 put it all in a calculator no need to uh trust yourself with the calculation just let the calculator do its magic and you get 144 dm cube that is the volume of hydrogen that you get clear everybody good yeah all right now let's say you want to go with the formula method which is the method that is traditionally taught the most in uh, all the mainstream schools that you are probably coming from so this is formula method now for formula method there are three steps and here is how i look at it you start with the first thing whatever that thing is so for example in this case is the mass of the first thing the ammonia you find moles of the first thing then you use mole ratio to find mole ratio to find moles of the second thing and then you get the answer so it's always a three step process and uh, here's how you do it you first use the formula to find moles from that so number of moles is mass over mr so mass was 68 mr was 17 so this gives me four moles of ammonia so for ammonia i had four moles now you use that ratio technically you are using the ratio method here but yeah so here's what you do you go back to the equation 
the equation said three of hydrogen need two of ammonia. So three of hydrogen need two of ammonia. So four of ammonia will give me X of hydrogen. You cross multiply, you get three times four is 12, two times X, X is equal to six. So that means you have six moles of a uh, hydrogen. Okay. Now you want volume. So you convert back, you use the formula for volume. Number of moles is volume over 24. And then you put six equals to volume over 24. And six times 24 is equal to 144 dm cube. So there you go. With the formula method, you can get this again. So this is the method for stoichiometry. And there's three strategies. You can work with any of them, whatever you prefer. What matters is that whichever method you pick, focus on that, learn that method so that your answers are not wrong. So we're going to do one more problem and uh, we will pick one method and we'll try to do with each one. Okay, so you guys are going to pick one method, whichever you prefer, and solve it using that. It's a very straightforward problem that I want to know. Uh, the equation that we have is pretty straightforward, really straightforward problem, very easy. Go on, pick a method, solve it. Yeah, so why do we divide or multiply by three by two? So a simple way to th think about that would be, imagine if I wanted to simply divide all of it by two, what will I get? I'll get the, the equation, which tells me that how much hydrogen does one mole of ammonia produce? So I know that according to this equation, one mole of ammonia is made from three by two hydrogen, one by two nitrogen. So if I know that one mole makes this much, then I tell you that, okay, I have 10 moles. You'll simply multiply by three by two to find how many moles of hydrogen I need, right? Because one is produced from three by two, 10 will be produced by three by two times 10. That's it. You just increase everything by the same ratio. So in the conversion factor method, when you started with 68 dm cube of ammonia divided by 24, you're finding moles of ammonia. So then you're multiplying by three by two because you have moles of ammonia and you're trying to find moles of hydrogen using the conversion factor. Conversion factor is three by two. Now, of course, in equations, we don't get fractions. We get this. So we can create the conversion factor ourselves. We just divide the answer by whatever we are starting. with, And that's the same thing. Does that make sense? Yeah, so it's kind of like it's in one is to one ratio. If yes, like yes. Factor. So you have to understand that all of these methods, conversion factor, ratio, formula, they're all technically, mathematically the same thing. It's just different disguises that they're in. So that's why it doesn't matter what method you pick. What matters is yeah, you do it right. Okay, I'm going to give you one more problem, which is slightly more complicated than the previous one. Right. There was probably something with the ratio that you missed out. Anyways, so basically that's how all these calculations are done. That's how these uh, conversions are done. I've sent you a worksheet, try to attempt it. These are all difficult questions. They're not easy, but if you are able to do them, that's good. If you're not, then don't worry, we can review them. And in the next class, we will look at a couple of other things like uh, limiting method, uh, sorry, limiting reactant and uh, uh, percentage yield and that kind of thing. And that's, I mean, that's easy. The difficult part in moles is always the stoichiometry part. So you pick one of these three methods and you're good to go. Yep. All right.